<clears throat> I wake up every minute with a fever dreams. I push a mind to a limit where it needs to be. I work like I got vision, I don't need to see. I'm picking mind over matter, I believe in me. I need to find more hours in the day to breathe. Need to find more power in the way I be. And when my mind turns out with the painful scenes, I need to scream. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the Newcastle formation. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Oh, this is looking promising. Must score! Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Douglas Luiz. Buendia. Oh, a lovely ball. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal scoring opportunity? And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo. Denial of a goal scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved a possible goal there, but at a cost. Number 24, Miguel. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And he takes it on. Superb block. Joel Linton. And on the ball is Cher. Really good challenge. It's got to be! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot in him. His movement is excellent. And it can they keep it out? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Buendia. And Newcastle come away with it. Joel Linton. Wilson with it. Not a great pass. Tyrone Mings. It's with Camara. Plenty of options. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Going well. Tremendous block. Well, as you can see, Villa have completely dominated the possession in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Yes, it's so true. For once, they find themselves in defensive mode. Longstaff. Longstaff. 
could take the lead. The save was a good one. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, not cleared away completely. Trippier. Played into the box. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St. James's Park. Well, he was one of their better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. And now they get the ball rolling. Oh, this is looking promising. Must score! Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Oh, a lovely ball. And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo. Denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Could take the lead. The save was a good one. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Teammates available. A glorious chance, and a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, that's a clinical finish. He just put his head down and smashed it past the keeper. There was no stopping that, was there? Back underway, 1-0 it is. Joel Linton. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But really sticking to their task defensively. Long staff. It's with Joe Linton. Wilson. Effort from long distance. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. 
pitch. Well, they've decided to make a change. Short corner favourite. And a goal kick given. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Options in the middle. Great opportunity. Oh, good work by the keeper. And a substitution in the offing. Trying to deliver it accurately and putting his body on the line. Gives it a go. Player on the way again. Just 15 minutes remaining. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection and it's really poor technique in the end. Joe Willock well timed tackle he's got space but a crucial intervention inside the box there might very well be late excitement five minutes left and the margin just one Ramsey has it. Just not looking confident in possession. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Callum Wilson. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. So making the substitution now. And the referee blows the whistle. That will be all for this game. And no points picked up by Newcastle United. What did you think of it all? Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way. But in the end, they will be disappointed. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, he deserved to score the winner today because he was a real handful. He's running off the ball and awareness of space were excellent. Very impressive. And the game begins. Oh, this is...